This is my brushes, my angle brushes, my thin brushes, number four, six, twelve. And I'm very fond of my angle brush for my pansies. And uh, this paper is very good for cards. And I have completed at least 12 bookmarks. 12 to go. This is my backyard. And I am going to copy all these beautiful flowers that I have in my backyard. Because I need to do 20 um, odd thank you cards. And... Uh, I will show you all the materials I'm going to use. I'm going to sit in my backyard and work on all these beautiful glads, gladulars, and uh, my lilies, and uh, my beautiful cosmos. These lilies are yet to bloom. So let's get started. These are my beautiful flowers which have bloomed in my backyard and uh, I need to do about 20 thank you cards which I will just copy from here so let's get started if you're doing pansies I have taped down three cards cut them shape them in the shape of bookmarks and if you're doing pansies please load your brush very well we need lots and lots of paint for pansies so the head uh, that the pointed part of the angle brush is ahead. We load the paint we want on the inside of the petal and uh, the base of the brush we use the color we want on the outside of the petal. So this is a zigzag, zigzag, zigzag way we move a brush to get the pansy petal. It's a beautiful pansy and you can do it in two shades with this method. And you use an angle brush, load your, uh, with every petal, load your um, head of the brush with the paint you want, the color you want inside the petal. And uh, the paint you want outside will be placed on your base of your brush. And you get that is one beautiful pansy. And after you finish, you can put in little spots in the stamen area. You can uh, just add uh, leaves on the side with the same angle brush. I'll show you. And the same way, load your brush again. I'm using crimson and yellow. Crimson on the, um, on the base and yellow on the head. So I get the yellow effect in the center of the petal. Now I'm doing another petal here with white on the base and crimson on the head. So that's the way you have to decide which side you want, which shade. Load your brush every time you make paint a new petal. And now there's white on the base, on the head of my brush and crimson on the other side of the brush. Just putting, brightening up the first pansy with a little of crimson and white. Angle brushes require a little practice, so do practice before you start your cards. Practice on any scrap paper or a paper you would not be too expensive. Now we are painting. I just put it into time lapse. I have used yellow and I've used white and I have also added sometimes I've added crimson pansies are beautiful shades look at the pansy it is just full of color and I have yellow um, I have crimson I have a little mauve in the center purple and red mixed up gives us a beautiful purple and mauve real uh, purple and red really do give us beautiful shades and uh, I love yellow pansies but I have noticed that pansies do have different hues 
and try to use all the shades then you look at a pansy see the colors try to recreate it in your card and it's such a wonderful delight when you make your own thank you cards and um, placement wedding place we're going to complete a batch of 24 thank you cards and uh, I'm just filling half with pansies. One side of my bookmark is pansies and one side are loose, beautiful loose roses. So I just created a cosmos over there. I throw in a few cosmos when I get tired of doing roses and pansies. I put in some cosmos as well. Another cosmos coming up. I just love them behind our main, our main central um, part of the bookmarks are the pansies and the roses. Anything else should be behind them. The leaves should be behind them. The small flowers should be behind them. just filling up the petals in the cosmos I'm putting in some leaves dark shades light shades green and lemon shades and there's so many colors on the palette just mix them all together and you'll get beautiful shades for the leaves and now I'm doing some yellow pansies on these bookmarks I have decided to do some fluorescent roses as well so that's the way I just put commas and then I flood them out. I'm actually painting another pansy here, loading my brush just to show you how it's done again. And I'm sure you'll be able to get the hang of it. So just continue to work with your angle brushes, load them well, dip the edge in water so that it moves and um, complete your bookmarks thank you for watching do subscribe do like